I'm going to show you how to multiply numbers on a number line. It's very simple. You're going to need two things, a number line and a volunteer. Our volunteer is going to be in charge of jumping. Okay, you're going to be jumping spots. Wherever he lands, that's going to be your answer. Wherever he lands, that's your answer. But we got to figure out how many times he's going to jump. We got to figure out how big his jumps are going to be. Now, think back to the last lesson. If you never watched it, go back and watch it. Two times four, the, the lesson on multiplying with grouping. Two times four means two groups of four. We understand that. However, what kind of groups do we have here? What kind of things are holding stuff? Because remember, group holders hold things. And the only thing we have here are jumps and we have a number line. So we got to change something here. This is the only change we're going to make between the last lesson and this lesson. The word groups will become now jumps. So we're going to have two jumps of four. What does that mean? What's two jump? Well, we know two jumps. It means he's going to be jump two times. Four means how big that jump is going to be. Each jump has to be the same size. Four numbers each. So we start at the zero and we go one, two, three, four, and we jump to the four. That's one jump. And then we jump again. One, two, three, four. And we land on eight. And this is what it would look like. You'd go from zero to four. And then start again at four. You go one, two, three, four. You go four numbers again. You can land on that. See two jumps? And the answer is whatever you land on. It's going to be eight. That's all you do. But people still mess this up. And I'll show you how they mess it up. They go like that. I'm going to do it at the bottom and I'm going to change colors. Some people will do it this way and they'll get the wrong answer. They'll start at the zero. But they'll go and they realize that they've got to go four numbers. But this is how they do it. They go zero. And they go one two, three, four. They count the zero. <gasps> yeah, I know. You never count the number you start on. Never. If you did that, you're going to land on the three. Okay, but that, that's why it's wrong. You got to start at the zero, sure, but you don't count it when you're counting four numbers. You go one, you skip it. So you go one, two, three, four. Some people will do that part right. They'll do this. Let me show you. They'll go from the zero to the four. They remember the rule, but then they forget it here. And then they start at the four and they go one, two, three, four, and then they land on the seven. And then that's wrong, of course, right? You never count the number you start on. So now you're starting on the four. Don't count it. Count four after. Go one, two, three, four. Here's another mistake people make. They'll go zero to four. They'll do that properly, but then... They, they draw the next arrow wrong. They go like this. They say, okay, Mr. Melham said that we can't count the four. So uh, I'm going to start from five and then I'm going to count four numbers. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and then they land on the nine. Okay, that's, again, it's also incorrect because what you've done here is we have to start on the four and you started on the five. You can't do that. So keep this as a general rule. Wherever the arrow lands, the next arrow has to start at the same spot, has to start at the four. And then you count four numbers. Don't count this one, count this one. One, two, three, four. And then you're gonna get the correct answer. How about four times two? What does that mean? Well, we know four times two is four groups of two. And we know the word groups has to switch now to jumps. So we're gonna jump four times and each jump has to be two. So let's let this uh, let's map it out for the frog. He's going to start at the zero. He's going to go from zero to two, and then from another two will be here, and another two would be there at the six, and another two would be at the eight, and then we stop. You know how I know we got to stop because we need four jumps, and we did four jumps. We got one, two, three, four. He goes boing, 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 boing. We're done. And our answer. Oh, I get this part, Mr. Malm. It's just going to be eight. Because we landed on 8, right? It's got to be right, Mr. M, right? Yeah, it is right. How about this one? What's the multiplication expression for this illustration? Well, we have 1, 2, 3 jumps. And each jump is 4. So how do we do this? We have first jump, second jump, third jump. So it's going to be 3 times 
three jumps. Each one is four big. So three times four. Let's see if we're correct. Oh, I hope we're right. Three groups of four. Three jumps of four. Three times four. Twelve. Yeah. Now it's your turn. I think we've got two questions. Let's see how you do. Try this one. Okay, assuming you tried it, what's the expression? Well, Mr. Froggy, he started here. He bounced once, twice, three times. He bounced four times, baby. He went four jumps. And each jump, four jumps, each one was five big, right? Each one was five numbers large. So we have to write four times five. Four jumps of five. Yeah, 20. I hope you got 20, and I hope you got 4 times 5. Now, if you wrote this, if you wrote 5 times 4, that's right. How about solve this one using a number line? Go ahead and try it. See how you do. All right, so let's see how well you did with this one. Solve 5 times 3 using a number line. Okay, 5 times 3, we know this. 5 groups of 3, so we got to switch it because it's a number line. we got to switch this word. Five jumps of three. So let's put our five jumps. First one to three. Second one is six. Third one to nine. And then 12. And then 15. Make sure you drew it exactly the same way that I did. Don't move the arrows like, don't put the next arrow at four and then let it go. No, no, no. Wherever one arrow lands, the next one has to start there. Okay, keep, keep that in mind. Answer. 15. 5 times 3 is 15. If you wrote 3 times 5 equals 15, that, that is the correct answer. However, doesn't match what this picture shows. This is incorrect there. I think that's about it. That's it, guys. So you know what? Again, look back at this lesson if anything was confusing. Watch it again and get better at this stuff, guys. Um, practice makes perfect. Thanks very much for joining me, and I'll see you next time.